Lord of the Rings Tragedy Battle Game fans and Lord of the Rings fans in general, welcome back to my channel. I am Roman Dasel. I guess I've been pronouncing my name wrong. It should be Romantical. I've heard that pronunciation before. I know I use an A instead of an E in the name. Mine's Roman instead of Roman, which is the right way to do it. But because I think Roman Dasel or Romantical was already taken, I had to use an A instead. I learned about the pronunciation from another guy, I think Dark Gandalf, who said Romantical, or Romantical. I don't know if that's the right way to pronounce it. When you read Lord of the Rings in 1983, no, sorry, in, I read Lord of the Rings in 1984, when I was 13 years old, and there was nobody there to tell me how to pronounce these words. So I kind of put it in my head already. And it's not until the Peter Jackson movies that you start learning how to pronounce these things. <laughs> Even though the Middle Earth role playing series had, uh, would teach you how to pronounce certain words as well. I just could never break my habit. So I am Roman Dasel, even though I'm supposed to be romantic ill. Sounds like a hopeless romantic. Go figure. But anyway, today we're going to be looking at the Corsairs of Umbar. Usually, I've, lately I've been going through the book and introducing the characters from the book that games. Games Workshop or Warhammer now has released, but I'm jumping the gun a little bit on this one to go with the uh, Corsair simply because I finished my Byream that I bought at the uh, Woodstock Antique Mall and I tried it with some Middle Earth, I tried it with some um, Warhammer Lord of the Rings figures and it's just too small. So then I went and got some Praetorian Guards that I had since like the 80s, who are 172. Basically they're 10, 10 mil figures. And they look much more suitable for this kind of ship. I didn't put the rigging in or the shields on just because it's too much work. I like it better this way. This is what they should have used in the Peter Jackson movies. Tyremes, Byremes, Quint... Quintareems or Quint Quintareems or whatever you call them. And then I also have my son's Corsair ship from, from the Return of the King Lego version, which I think is really cool. He got this for Christmas long ago. I had him set it back up so I could use it briefly. He used to display this, but then he had to put take things down because he has too much Lego. Anyway, let's get on with this. So I do have a box set of Umbar, Corsairs of Umbar. I paid $30 at Games Workshop, now Warhammer, back in the day. And so $30 plus taxes. You only get, tw you get 24 plastic figures. Eight of them are swordsmen, but eight of them are spearmen, and then eight of them are archers. Now you only get so many poses. There's 12 poses in all, so four for each segment. And I try to make them as different as possible. You can see the different color schemes. What I wish they'd done is I wish they'd made half, eight of them into Marines. Because these guys are just seen, or this crew, they're the seamen. They will make a raid on some isolated village, but they're not going to take out a major fortification. They'd be useless in a in a in a set piece battle like the siege of Minas Tirith. They wouldn't be any good. They'd be good for sacking the place, but that's about it. Ship to ship battle, yes, they're they're obviously going to be good, but they're in the long haul in a battle of Pelennor Fields. They'd be useless as hell. So yeah, definitely some uh, Marines would have been good. Now, the ones that do look more like Marines are my two blister packs that I have. Of course, they're Arbalesters. I paid $8 for each one from Fan of the Sport. The guy there had a huge set of Games Workshop Lord of the Rings. And he wasn't no, it wasn't selling very much. So I was picking through it for like two, th almost three years. And... 
After a while, he was just giving it to me for half price or with no taxes added, which made it much cheaper. And these were two that I got. I used to have a third one. I had a third blister pack, but I sold it. So in each blister pack, you get three figures. They're metal. They come in three basic poses, so I try to make them different as possible. The shields on the one are silver, and the shields on the other are red. To denote different units. So this is a good idea. You have Marines on board. There should have been infantry Marines as well. That's something I hope Warhammer fixes one day. All right, then we go to the bosun and captain of the ship in the movie peter jackson is the bosun and he gets killed by leg loss because everyone says shoot a shoot a warning shot across the bow and when leg loss is getting ready to gimli ta taps the taps the bow at the last minute to kill the bosun who is peter jackson and he falls and dramatic it just makes makes it humorous but it never happened in the book. I wish they had stayed with the book version of the whole, but it, with, the, with the entire Corsair army and the Umbarian army, but it would have dragged out the movie too much, so I do understand. But anyway, I paid only $16 for these two. These were full price that time from Fan of the Sport, and they are metal. And you only get two in the blister pack. And then I have Dalamir Fleet Master of Umbar. He cost me only $14. And he's one metal figure. When I first started picking from the fan of the sport, I was getting the uh, the hard to find models instead of at the time, instead of eventually I got so much from Fan of the Sport, it doesn't matter. But I've got the the hard to find ones first, and whatever my budget would allow, which still makes for a pretty impressive collection. G Games Workshop with Forge World has released newer Corsair or Umbarian figures. I wish they'd develop it better because the Corsairs of Umbar are supposed to be descendants of the Dunedain from Gondor, who lost the civil war so they should be pure-blooded dunadai most of them most of these guys should which means they should be stronger unless they got herod in blood or they're black numenorians so these can work with black numenorians in haradrim in conjecture you wouldn't put them with easterlings wouldn't work as well as you can see i can put more figures in this boat it's still a little small and cramped And this is pretty shallow for for what it should be. So you can see I can put so many figures in this boat and make it work. It is a cool design, I do agree. And the figures fit, don't fit too badly. It's just crowded inside. But it's built for Lego, not for... Not for uh, Warhammer figures. So I do wish Warhammer would release a, make their own Corsair ship and release it. It'd probably be worth like, probably be $200 or something, some ridiculous price. But it would work. And it, I think people would buy it. Fans of the game would buy it. It'd be a nice set piece. But anyway, that's my Army of Umbar. All you Lord of the Rings fans, let me know if you guys have this army. Or any part of it. And which design should they have used? Should they use the one from the movie? Or they should they go with the what should have been done? The Byremes and Tyremes. I prefer the rowing ones. Because it's closer to the book. But this one will do just fine. So leave comments in the comment section. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And until next time I am Romantic y'all. I'm out of here. Shadows and